Um, in terms of flexibilities, the parties don't have any um, standard rules and procedures that they have to adopt. They're free to choose what they um, what rules they want to have in the mediation agreement. For example, we actually have a lot of um, templates in the market, like the Law Society has some rules, the HIIC offer their own set of rules, and also the Hong Kong Mediation Center have their own set of rules. So the parties are free to choose. In terms of procedures, is even more flexible. Usually the mediator will offer many options and it depends on the parties, um, the nature of the parties, and also the nature of the claim. In terms of uh, cost, it is um, relatively cheaper than litigation because litigation, it takes years to complete. For mediation, the parties just have to meet like a few meetings um, with the mediator and um, the parties usually bear, the, bear their own legal costs and, the, um, and share the mediator's costs. Mediation is definitely confidential and all the communication incidental to the mediation is confidential and is not allowed to be used at trial, not in the proceedings. Psychologically, if the parties agree to mediation on their own, that means that they have the willingness to settle and that's a psychological thing and parties, if the parties are willing to come to the settlement table, they are more open-minded to other options.